Welcome back, West Michigan. I'm Linda Balkema. You're watching Alive and Well. We are here at Muskegon Surgical Associates on Mercy Drive, and I'm here with Dr. Stephen Zonka, and we have been talking about breast augmentations, all types of plastic surgery, um, gosh, lifts, fillers, you name it. They do it all here, um, facelifts and facial rejuvenation and skin care, just everything. And so um, tell us the address for our viewers, where we're you're located. Lo we're located on the Mercy campus at 1316 Mercy Drive, and uh, we're right next to the uh, new surgery center, the new outpatient surgery center, uh, which is also a great location for uh, surgery, uh, should you uh, need surgery. Uh, we certainly work both at Mercy and Hackley, the combined units uh, for uh, surgeries that uh, need hospital. Uh, and we do uh, um, a large number of office-based, minimally invasive procedures here also. Uh, so we have uh, a range from uh, the reconstructive type uh, after breast cancer, which obviously would be done like as a hospital sure. type procedure. We do minimal outpatient, minimal outpatient surgeries, uh, um, even skin cancer removals and, and things like that, uh, which may sure. be done at the outpatient surgery center. And then we do um, cosmetic uh, enhancements here in the office, the laser liposuction, laser yes. resurfacing. And you have and a pretty new machine here, right? We this, do. We have the Cyton. Cyton. Cyton laser. The Cyton laser is uh, very the the latest and greatest in, wow. in laser development, um, and with that, it uh, we have a component of it does the resurfacing. We talked about the br uh, brown spots, mm -hmm. the the broadband light resurfacing, which is which is non invasive. Uh, the other side of that laser also has the facial resurfacing, which we've talked about, um, and that can be done as like an arctic peel, uh, which is a very arctic peel. That's interesting. Why is it arctic? Is it cold and icy? <laughs> it, it's along the lines of almost like a uh, a wind burn. Um, okay. as far as the recovery um, and uh, that's something that has like a weekend type recovery it's a, a limited depth peel uh, but gives you a smoother rejuvenated face okay now it's the arctic peel that's done with the laser is that that's different correct. than the chemical peel uh, it is different but the effects are actually similar uh, okay. the arctic peel we go just a little deeper than a chemical peel would typically um, but it's not as deep as for example we talked about the deep laser peels so there are different okay. levels of what we would treat based okay. on uh, what we what we were what our endpoint goal is was one less painful than the other <laughs> <laughs> would the arty, would the laser not be as painful as the chemical, or is um, it, it based on the depth? That it you would be based on the depth exactly, okay. um, and you know we certainly use topical numbing as well as injectable numbing agents to make it as pleasant of experience as possible. Sure. There's certainly always some discomfort with with any procedure, even if it's just Price the of beauty. Price the. Of beauty. <laughs> No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> the numbing going in, but yeah. uh, um, under, we understand that, and we're, we make this as uh, as easy as possible to do in the office. Uh, again, understanding that um, there are other procedures that are available with anesthesia if okay. if it's some, something more would be needed. Um, but uh, a deeper peel, a, a deep laser resurfacing, would uh, um, treat deeper lines more sun damaged skin, more laxity, and that's where we talked about we would add in the fractional treatment where it's creating those deeper pores into the skin to cause more collagen formation and tightening of the deeper layers of the skin. Um, so we have a variety of things we can do with the laser um, as well as we have a laser for the, the liposuction um, that we would question about question when you say collagen reformation of the skin, we need collagen in our skin. Now does that rejuvenate differently as we age or as hormones change? Typically, we we tend to lose collagen as as we age, and so okay. um, many of the things that we do to the skin, whether it be laser, um, and it's also been shown that several of the fillers, when injected, uh, cause a, a reaction. They're absorbed by the body, and that that inflammation actually causes collagen formation. And so, yeah. there is some lasting benefit to the fillers. It's not a one to one replacement. It's not like if we put in um, one syringe of uh, filler that uh, your body makes a syringe of collagen, but there is some um, some lasting benefits. Some so lasting, even though that yeah. you say now it lasts about one year. That's correct. 
which is a big benefit because I do know that when they first started with Botox, they I think it was every three months or... Botox typically lasts three to five months. Yes. And uh, the fillers really, when they first came in the market, were lasting between one and three months. And so uh, every year they keep getting uh, better as far as longer lasting, uh, e easier to use, less uh, inflammation or swelling with them. And uh, they're, um, they're really excellent uh, compared to when we started uh, as far as the development of these. Sure. I, well, I can tell you just from what I we've talked about today, I have a lot of friends who will be interested in, in coming in for some of these um, rejuvenation procedures. <laughs> Thank you. And yes, if I, they go I'm to saving our... up for the full the full deal. I mean, that's all there is to it. When I hit the lottery, I'm getting the full <laughs> the full deal. But, and there is a lot of information available on our website also. Sure. Uh, you can, and can, um, go ahead and state your website again. Uh, our main office website is uh, www.msapc.com, and there's a link on there for plastic surgery. There's also a uh, that website can be uh, directly addressed uh, www.msa-plasticsurgery.com, and uh, so you can go to our website and uh, get some more information on a variety of, of procedures. There's, it's and a great what website. I looked at it today, and there's everything on there, including pictures, which some can shock you at first, but they're you know, they're factual and they make you realize that you do some fantastic work here Thank and you. you're changing people's lives I mean that just the effects that that has to have when you look in the mirror and feel better and I'm not just talking facelifts but the breast augmentations I mean women that have lived I don't want to say deformed but feeling that they're not whole maybe after a you know a mastectomy or or just not feeling like they look like other women and we and we set ourselves up that way but it's important it's important for us emotionally and psychologically and everyone and just wants feel to look better. nice yeah and, everybody and, wants to look nice and, and and you create that for them it's great well, thank you. you know years ago that wasn't possible so and i've heard just such great things about you personally as a doctor and that's so good to hear right here in muskegon we have the latest in laser technology and rejuvenation and it, this nice young doctor to be well, around for you. years and work on us. And we've got a great staff that uh, helps us out here yeah. and, and not only here but at the surgery center and the hospitals to help yeah. help we couldn't do what we do without all of their assistance. Yes, I know there's a lot of good people, good nurses. I've, I've met many of the good nurses yes. and doctors over there. I. You, um, do you have an esthetician on staff? Do you we actually do. do the laser yourself, or does the esthetician? We do the deeper laser peels. We okay. have an esthetician on staff who does the uh, the laser light, um, the non-invasive, and the arctic peels, which are the minimal invasive. Uh, and microderm? Do you also microderms do microderms? And microderm and chemical operation? peels are also done by our estheticians. So we have okay. some of the procedures are done by our, the more invasive procedures are done by myself and my partner, Dr. Thayer, mm -hmm. um, who, uh, and uh, the more minimally invasive uh, things are, are done by our esthetician. Your esthetician. And do you also have a masseuse on staff? We actually have two massage therapists wow. uh, to uh, offer a variety of uh, massage uh, therapy, lymphatic massage, um, and uh, so that's something that uh, is we offer to our, okay. our patients also as a, an, another uh, rejuvenation. Wow. It's like a, a spa right here. Huge, you can get it all done, huh? And and you even carry the line of makeup that I prefer, the Jane Airedale line. Yes. I don't know that you know a lot about your makeup line, yes. but <laughs> the esthetician, my, I'm sure. My can. wife loves it, and yes. uh, um, it's uh, we've got a full uh, cosmetics uh, product line, uh, which is uh, medically based uh, for correction of a variety of of uh, okay. skin conditions. Uh, whether it be rosacea or maybe more something along the lines of uh, uh, acne um, or skin rejuvenation. And so uh, we would be happy to uh, discuss uh, with, uh, with it, someone their individual concerns, whether it be acne or sun damaged sure. skin or um, fine lines. Speaking of acne, now I know that acne is such a traumatic thing for teenagers, and it can go into adulthood, obviously, but... Um, Teenage, do you see a lot of teens that come in with acne problems We certainly here? see a number of uh, people who ha are troubled by acne, especially teenagers, and uh, uh, it's certainly, we would rather see them when they're having trouble with acne rather than when they come back in their late 20s and early 30s with scarring from with acne. scarring, yes. Much better to be a, uh, treating this uh, when they're having trouble with acne mm -hmm. rather than trying to deal with scars afterwards. Uh, and so there are, um, if uh, 
uh, someone, a teenager or, or uh, even a young adult, uh, or uh, even we see people who go through hormonal changes that get acne problems, uh, that if they're having trouble with acne, we'd rather see them in a preventative fashion sure, or a treatment sooner, fashion than, later. than, yes. than someone who's uh, got scarring from acne. Uh, and it's much easier to treat acne rather than treat scars from acne. Okay, wonderful. I just want to thank you so much for being the guest today. This thank has been you, a Linda. wonderful show. You have, I've learned so much, and you have so much to offer here. And viewers, I want you to make sure you check out Come here first, Dr. Zonka. He'll do a wonderful job for you. He has great staff. And if right here in Muskegon, we have it all. You don't have to drive to Grand Rapids. We have it right here in Muskegon. Thank you for watching Alive and Well, and we'll see you next time.